part two because uh, originally we removed the battery uh, and we fixed our Windows problem. Okay, so it just quickly showed that uh, bias screen. That's, that's not normal. It should be uh, more than like a split second. So there's our battery. What's happening is that without the battery, this compact Presario uh, is running into uh, a different problem. Um, uh, basically, it's um, uh, some kind of hardware processor checksum issue. So basically, we have, uh, we're just going to hold the power button for s until it restarts. Okay, it restarted right there. Let's press it again. We're going to press F10 continuously. One, like, keep pressing it. So what we need to do is I found, um, so if we go, we're right here in the F10 setup. If we, if we go here, we notice uh, this, this seems to be a default, but for some reason, this, uh, these settings are causing some kind of problem. What, what we have to do, uh, right here it says F5. Uh, so I'm going to press F5. Okay, now uh, F10, save and exit. You see that menu? It's holding for a few seconds now. That's how we know uh, this thing's running properly now. I'm going to start normally. When it's sitting with no power for five minutes, like uh, the power bar disconnected, or overnight or whatever, uh, something goes wrong with those settings in the initial start and this uh, it's, it's gonna get to Windows but it's just gonna keep loading and loading because it's some kind of check some processor issue so the first video I made all I did was take out the, uh, the battery and that solved the issue that's because it was still connected to the power bar but when you shut off the power bar for like five minutes uh, because it loses all the power, it, it confuses with uh, the confuser.